Scrapper Names fans, how are we all? I hope we all had a fantastic Christmas. Um, I am back today, long overdue, um, with a 12 by 12 layout. This one is for the Scrap Sweets, I'm going to call them a cyber challenge, a little monthly kind of side challenges, I don't know. Um, there's four of them and I've picked this one, which I think is the third for this month, December, um, which is to use a black and white layout with one other colour. Um, and I have chosen to do pink and all forms of pink, pale pink, bright pink, you know, hot pink and all those sorts of things. Um, I actually am pretty chuffed with myself that I managed to do this. At first I sort of looked over and thought, yeah, meh. And then when I actually started digging around in my stash, I was like, oh my gosh, I really have a lot of pink, which I suppose makes sense. I scrap for two girls so as well. So yeah. Um, Anyway, so I picked this black and white checked paper. Um, this was from, I think, my December Kitaholic kit um, as my sort of background base type paper. I think, it, I, think I, I did flash it up before. I think it's a Jen Hadfield one, I think. Uh, if you want to know exactly, let me know and um, I will let you know or try to let you know. Otherwise, jump on the Kitaholic kit's webpage and it um, should be on there as well. Anyway, um, now I'm just using this, this pink paper paper to make a mat for my photo well the first photo um, there's two photos in this layout both are of my sibling myself with my siblings that top one is my oldest sister uh, my sorry my younger sister and then one's with my younger brother and, and her as well um, this was a night last year so 2016 uh, my sister who lives in Sydney came down to Canberra to visit and we had a family barbecue and a few drinks and yeah it was a lot of fun. We're very loud, very uh, boisterous when we we're all together and quite funny all at the same time. So yeah, just some silly, crazy, nice photos as well. Um, yeah, documenting that. I did do a 12 by 12 layout for this. No, bleh, try again. I did a Project Life for this, which I think I did another 12 by 12. Good God. Isn't it bad when you can't remember where you're up to when you... For me, I haven't scrapped. Actually, for me, I haven't scrapped in a, few, a little while now. Um, just because kids' birthdays, school holidays, Christmas, it's just not happened. Um, but yes, anyway, so back to the layout. So that's what these photos are. Um, and as I said, there's a Project Life one, which I think I did put up last week. Yes, I think it was before Christmas, I think, for this. Anyway, flick back through my channel, um, my playlist, and you will see my video, Project Life, for this one, titled the same thing. All right, so as you can see, two different kinds of pinks to map my photo. Um, I deliberately left that little bit off to the side there of the photo down the bottom of my sister and I, um, just to add some journaling. Um, I wasn't sure how I was going to add it to the page, and I figured that would be a really good way to do it. Um, yeah, so I'm using some new, uh, I guess you'd call them like fabric hessian kind of pieces um, from Charms Creations here in Oz. Um, this is the first order I've done of them and I've got a, a couple of different bits and pieces of different colours and as you can see here and I love, this is what I loved, that, that one, there's one to the side there that's like black which is perfect for the black and white but it's hot pink as well and it's a love heart so it worked really well. The other one is a soft pink with like, it's called like book note so it's got like book script kind of thing um, in the top. Two different kinds of pink still going with the theme of the challenge so as I said I was really really stoked at the fact that I was I got this and yeah you know there's some layers where you just think oh this is a challenge um how am I going to make this work and it's not something I would normally do um but something I'm thinking even while I'm editing this I'm sort of thinking about my next layout I'd like to try to do something like this maybe not necessarily black and white maybe pick a different color or whatever um, because I think it made it really different for me, anyway, other people might use that sort of same tone. I think it's what do they call it? Monochromatic. Correct me if I'm wrong. Sorry if I am. Eek. Um, not all up on the artsy terms sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's not something I do normally. So I am pretty, pretty happy. Pretty happy. All right. So just playing around with some different, um, as I said, different coloured pattern pink pattern paper that might actually be a pale glitter you just can't see it on the video I think um I had like this pink thick it was actually quite thick cardstock um I think I ordered it online some time ago 
and I actually haven't used it. There's that one and there's like a limey greeny kind of color as well. And I was just like, why have I never used these? And I remembered it was there, so I grabbed it out to use with this to try and use up a little bit. Um, and then there's some of these bits and pieces, which I think from memory, or oh, they might be last month, November's kit, um, the blush range from my mind's eye that we got in our Kitaholic kit. Um, so they had some soft pink tones in it. So I thought, oh, that's a fantastic way of using that up as well. Um, so yeah, rolled with it. So I hope everyone's had a really good Christmas. Um, today is, what are we, Thursday the 28th here in Oz. Um, I've had a couple of days off following Christmas and Boxing Day, which is really nice, much needed break to be honest um, to recharge reorganize and uh, get started again um, I'm saying I'm a lot sorry yeah so not much happened here we had a nice we had a pretty quiet Christmas um, my sister if you can see in the photo um, she had my first nephew I have a niece as you know or two nieces and now I have a nephew uh, she had him on Christmas Eve and she he is just so gorgeous so so gorgeous i am so proud of an, as an aunt um but yes i he's beautiful so we had a quiet christmas day cuz my folks or my mum was away with her and uh, with my sister and my dad was here and my aunt and her husband came as well and yeah so it was fairly quiet um which was nice and then boxing day we really didn't do much went to the sales for a little bit mainly to the crafty ones at Kayser Craft. If you're an Instagram follower of mine, you would have seen what I got. If not, jump on over to Instagram, look me up, Scrap and Ames, and uh, you'll see what I have what I scored. Some really cool goodies, some pretty happy goodies. Um, so, yeah, and then, yeah, we've just spent the last few days I've been cleaning out and organising, decluttering. I'm going for a simpler, organised 2018. That is the plan. So, yes. Anyway, so what I'm doing here, I wanted to tell you this. I this is my title so I wanted to try something these um, DIY American crafts thickers or foam thickers whatever they're called I didn't know if this would work and there might be some of you sitting there going oh my god are you so how stupid are you Amy but I needed to show for myself so I decided that I would try embossing them I usually would do foam I'd color them with my gelatos or paint or something like that I wanted to try embossing it. So I have some really cool glittery pink that would go well with the rest of the colours in the layout. So dabbed it on my Versamark and heated it. Now, in all honesty, it probably did work so well. It looks okay. Um, but at the end of the day, I sort of went, do I scrap this and, you know, do you go back to the old way, gelato way and colour them in pink? And then I left it. It's in my family album, myself and my family are going to be the only ones really looking at it. You guys get to see it now, but that's it. Um, and some of the foam and he the he adhesive that sort of sticks the top layer of the thicker and the back of it together must have sort of melted a little bit or dried up, whatever, and it's come apart a little bit. Anyway, you might see it in the close-ups. But for the most part, it kind of works. <laughs> um, anyway, it's kind of different and it's a tech, it's just something I randomly thought, you know what, be brave, be bold, let's give it a go. Um, so yeah, that's exactly what I did. So I just adhered those Hessian um, pieces down just with my PVA glue. Note, if you use these, they need you need to hold them down because they will move until it sort of adheres better. As you can see, I must have knocked it and realised it does that. Um, I didn't know that. Usually, you know, you sort of pop things down, stick it down with your finger for a second and bobs your uncle. But with those, you sort of got to hold it a little bit longer. I'm just working on some random little clusters around those Hessian pieces. So I've put, I think, one is like a little piece that says today. And I don't know what's above the heart. Sorry about that. You'll see it in the close-ups. Um, and then balancing out again on the bottom with this photo. So just pulling silly faces. Now I'm going to journal here. Met our craziness. And then well, all done. I think I'm right along the side here. I've just put siblings. Um, trying my best to do some nice, neat, sort of scripty kind of font. Um, 
I am trying my hand at that. What else? Now these little stickers are from Amy Tent. As I said, I pulled everything out of my, well not everything, but pulled stuff out of my stash that was um, pink, some black. So I pull like a, almost grey I guess, but it's more black, light black kind of colour of these stick, um, phrase stickers as well. Here they are. Just to add some little bits around the page. It needed... I felt that the it, it really needed, this page needed some sort of big kind of embellishments simply because the background is black-white, checkered, so it, it's almost busy to the eye when you look at it. So in order for those pieces to pop, they needed to be big and bold, so black with the hot pink and then that bookend note as well sort of contrasts against the background as well. Um, so that's why I've gone for the really big sort of embellishments as well here. Um, just because, yeah, as I said, that sort of plain background, busy, it just, to me, it just needed to pop. Um, yeah, as I said before, I'm not creative by nature. I haven't done this for, well, I've done it for long enough. But now, so I may not have all the technical terms and things like that. Um, and things for me are just as they come. Um, and looking back now, I can go, okay, yeah, well, that's why I did it. But yeah, in the moment, it's just like, oh, that looks cool. We'll go with that. <laughs> Oh, where have I just up her to? Now, as I said, while you can watch me fiddling around with my embellishments, that's my little tray, by the way, from that I put all my Kidaholic stuff in. Um, now, as I said, over on my Instagram page, I did do a bit of a photo video thing yesterday in regards to I did buy a new Kayser Craft planner um, for next year because I want to do some more... Um, better planning and organizing for their family and I enjoyed last year when I brought the happy planner I did lots of sort of planning every week and it was decorative and it was just a bit more bright and yeah um, so I'm going to do the same for next year and I asked my followers and I'm asking you guys if you would like a plan with aims kind of um, segment on my process videos and my blog um, let me know because if there is an interest in it, I've had a few people say yes. Um, so I may go ahead and do it and see how if, you know, there's not much interest in it, then I'll just, I mean, I'll keep planning, but you just won't see it. Um, there'll be a mix of things like process videos as well as just like um, a blog post with just a share of some photos of things that I've done when it's, you know, depending on what happens. Sometimes if I do things on the lounge, I can't obviously film, so I will take photos instead. But yeah, if there's interest in it, I'm going to do it and, uh, you know, I want to get sort of organized by the weekend. So yeah, let me know if it's something you would like to do. Um, it, my plan is to use so stuff that I've sourced from here in Australia so that anyone who else is planning along with me can gain access to um, fairly easily. It would be, you know, sort of simplistic kind of planning, but, you know, like my layout's creative, nice, bright kind of things so yeah let me know all right so I think I'm nearly done uh, I'm just adding some little bits and bobs I think to it just finding some more pieces I've just added some looks like some glitter heart stickers that are in pink and things like that so yeah just plotting around now this video I'm going to upload this I'll probably upload this today so what are we Thursday afternoon so this might go live on my channel in a few hours so maybe Thursday night for here us Aussies um, and then I'll probably put another one up that I'll do another voiceover for either tomorrow as normal I would normally do Wednesday Friday but I missed yesterday um, or Saturday mainly because both of these this one and the other one I have are for December challenges so I sort of don't see the point in posting them in January so yeah stay tuned all right layout is complete here are some close-ups I'm babbling on uh, I do hope you enjoyed my video as usual hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe and if you've got any comments or questions leave them in the comment section and I will get back to you but again thank you so much for watching and stopping by and as I said I hope you enjoy your Chrissy and enjoy your break if you're having one and I will see you soon